like a connoisseur in a wine cellar. One chooses one's vintages with care. The reds and the whites, I enjoy both. There's something irresistible about having a, having a go at such a, an iconic character. And as with Sherlock Holmes and Baker Street, you know, briefly having the keys of the castle to play around with, you, it's irresistible and exciting. I think Dracula, it's not so much that one would say this is a Dracula for now, is that Dracula is properly timeless. The thing that we thought we could try was to make Dracula the main character. I bid you welcome, Mr. Harka. I am Dracula. If you look at the book, he's he's not in it that much. He's in the first few chapters, and then he's he's in the background. It's very rare that these opportunities come along to direct a classic like Dracula. I knew I was going to be in safe hands with Stephen and Mark, who are the two massive uber fans of uh, horror in general, and Dracula in particular. If they were doing it, I wanted to be involved. What attracted me to this project was the writing. I felt so excited by the scripts because you know already there's something that comes with Dracula. Everybody's fascinated by Dracula. Everybody's fascinated by that character. Everybody can relate. So I was really interested to know what the scripts were going to be like, and they are brilliant. It's a fantastic combination of being, on the one hand, very loyal to fans of the original Bram Stoker novel, but it's been filtered through Stephen and Mark's extraordinary uh, imaginations, and they've created something very thrilling and contemporary as a result. How can I not recognize her face? Well, you do look rather drained. I am Clays and I am playing Dracula. The one thing they said is he has to be very tall and very handsome. Clace was really the only one that was in our sights, really. He's brilliant as Dracula. There's something in, in Clace's implacable black eyes and his sort of angular face and his amazing Byronic looks that sell that at the same time. You know, it's the kind of perfect combination. I think it's, it's tricky with Dracula because he clearly is a monster, but he's always very charming. And very debonair and very suave and looks, you know, looks great in a cape. Why does death always come as such a shock to mortals? So I think you're always conflicted there, and I think people like the bad boy as well. He gives everyone a great time and then kills them, unfortunately. Try and stay calm. You're doing very well.